Howdy folks, Josh here with The Weekend Angler, back with another Short Tip Saturday video and our next installment of our Back to Basics series. Guys, in this week's video, we're going to be putting together a bass fishing box to cover everything from top water all the way down to the bottom that's going to help you catch more fish. All right, guys, before we get started putting together our bass box, got a little bit of a funny story to tell you because this week's video was the video that almost wasn't. Uh, last weekend when I was getting ready for the Biggest Loser Catfish Tournament that we hosted, we went out Friday night to pick up some last minute supplies. But while we were in Walmart, I went ahead and decided to get the Short Tip Saturday video shot. Unfortunately, right after the end of day one of the catfish tournament when I was out on Crab Orchard Lake I ended up dropping my phone in the water and all of my footage was on my phone that uh, Samsung Galaxy 20 spent almost a week on the bottom of Crab Orchard Lake I went back out there Thursday got in the water with my chest waders and managed to find that phone and so I was able to put together this video without having to buy all this stuff again. So uh, guys, let's go ahead. We're gonna go through and uh, I'll show you kind of what I was picking out at the store. We'll bring it back here and we'll get it put together into the box and you'll be ready to go. All right, just like the panfish box we did, we're gonna be using a 3600 series utility box today. One thing you'll notice is there's a lot of different options for top water, but it's hard to beat something that imitates a frog. So we'll go with these Strike King Toads. For mid-depths, we're gonna be looking at spinner baits. They come in a ton of colors, but a white one and a black one always do you good. Picked up some more stuff. Let's go ahead and get it into that box. Just like the panfish video, let's open this up, get all those dividers out. We'll put them in as needed. Like I said, for topwater choice, I chose the Strike King Super Toad in a natural color. These go through the water weedless like a buzz bait. I've also got the Mustad, Ultra Lock Light, hooks, size 2 aught for rigging those toads. For mid depth, I picked up these quarter ounce Strike King spinner baits. The white has a willow leaf blade, the black has a Colorado blade. And I also picked up a Cotton Cordell Super Spot. This is a lipless rattling crankbait in chrome bait fish pattern. Those things are deadly. For the bottom fishing, I picked up some Mitsuo pre rigged 1 8 ounce Ned rigs in a green pumpkin color. I have a video out about fishing a Ned rig, it could be very productive. I also picked up a net bait Paca Bug. It's a football jig in 3 8 black and blue. Black and blue jigs are great to have around but you also need to have a trailer for them. That's why I picked up these pocket chunks in back black and blue. Just rig those up onto your jig and the whole thing will imitate a crawfish. Those pinchers are flat back there, really get some attention. While we're at it, let's go ahead and rig up one of these toads. Grab one of your mustad hooks. Just insert that into the front of the toad until you reach the bend of the hook. Turn it. You're gonna pull that hook down through that toad until the eye is right there at its nose. Rotate the hook 180 degrees. You're just gonna kind of push up on that toad. Insert the hook point, bring it up through the top of the toad. Let that lay along the top, push that down flush, and you have a weedless presentation. And there you have it, the top to bottom bass fishing box. All right guys, that's gonna just about do it for the bass box. Obviously, we didn't cover everything that is at your disposal when it comes to bass fishing. And frankly, that's just because the bass fishing tackle market 
is the largest part of the whole fishing industry. So there's lures that cover every end of the spectrum and everywhere in between. But uh, what we picked out today is some good starting points. You could always build off of that. And uh, I feel like I picked out lures that are going to help you work from anywhere from top water all the way down to the very bottom of the water column. That way, no matter where those bass are at, you should be able to find some active fish and catch more fish. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please take a moment, give it that thumbs up. That helps those YouTube algorithms, helps people see this video. And uh, if you're checking me out for the first time, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button and the little bell next to it. That way you get a notification every time I post a video or go live. We will continue on a few more videos with the Back to Basics series, which is tips and tricks and techniques for newer anglers. So we'll see you guys next week with that. Hope you all have a great week. The weather's starting to turn good. Get out and do some fishing if you can. And until next time, we'll catch you out on the water.